Bienvenue, and we are back. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about our trip to Paris. Uh, a couple weeks ago we took a trip over to Europe. We went to Disneyland Paris, uh, and Paris, and then we went over to Munich, then we did uh, Oktoberfest, and went and saw uh, Neuschwanstein Castle, and all that good stuff. Then we went back to Paris. So, I'm going to talk a little bit about what we did in Paris the first day we were there, because we had quite a bit of time, and it was a great, very fun day. So I'm going to give you a little bit of our itinerary on how we did it. Hopefully this helps you in planning your future trip to France. So it was a great time. Uh, so that morning we actually checked out of our hotel at Disneyland Paris and we took the train that is right there at the resort over to Charles de Gaulle Airport because that was the hotel we were staying at that night because we were flying out very early the next morning to Munich. And we were flying out at like 6 a.m. Why we chose that flight, I don't know. but. In the long run, it gave us, it, it's what we chose. I, don't, I can't give you a good reason why. I think it was the cheapest. Uh, so we took the train from uh, Disneyland to the airport, and it was 1750 euros, which, you know, it's always changing, but that's right around 20 bucks, and that's per way, per person. So when you add up pretty much round trip, you're basically paying 40 bucks per person for the train. So. Just keep that in mind. That was probably the most expensive part of our trip was the trains in Paris. Uh, and then we dropped our luggage off. We stayed at the Ibis uh, Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. It's right there next to the train station. It was cheap, it was clean. Considering we were only staying there a couple hours because we had such an early flight, it was the perfect hotel for us to stay at. And they had a place where we could store our luggage. So we just dropped off our luggage there. And then we took a train from the airport uh, because we were right next to the train station into uh, the Leal Alls train station right there almost in the center of Paris and that cost us uh, 10 euro 30 uh, so 10 euros and 30 cents I guess is how they would say it over there that's how we would say it in the United States so not too bad uh, it goes by zones over there so because we were in the farthest zone traveling into the center of the city that's why it costs a little bit more Whenever you're in the city, it doesn't cost as much to take the metro. So once we arrived at Lyons, we had our first look of Paris. And that was my first time actually seeing, you know, the European buildings. Because we had been at Disney for a couple of days. And oh my goodness, it was breathtaking. I cannot wait to go back. I don't have any pictures, but one of the first things I did was I saw a spot for a croissant in a boulangerie. And I had to have one because I fell in love with croissants on this trip. And I have not been able to find a croissant like that here. Oh, those croissants are good. Mm. Those croissants. I dream about them every night. And enough about the croissants. Uh, so once we went there, we kind of took a walk down the sidewalks as we were admiring the buildings. They had some weird shops uh that you know we just wouldn't have here that we're neat to look at but we went over because even though notre dame was not open because of the fire that happened uh, a couple of months ago we still wanted to see it from the outside uh growing up we've seen that and everything uh you know all the movies rugrats in paris madeline uh, hunchback of notre dame so we wanted to at least see the front and even from the front uh the church was absolutely beautiful However, I did find, we won't call it a substitute, but definitely if you're looking to see beautiful art, uh, like stained glass and stuff like that, just maybe a block away there is a building there. It's called the uh, Saint Chapelle, uh, and it was a chapel built by, I believe it was the King of France back in the day. Uh, so he would kind of have his own private spot to worship in. And upstairs, they have the most beautiful room of just stained glass windows. And the time we were coming in, the light was hitting right through the window because it was morning. And you were just in awe of just the beautiful craftsmanship that was all around you. Uh, as you'd walk towards the front of the building, they had different stone carved out, uh, replicating different Bible stories. Uh, one of the most beautiful, breathtaking rooms I have ever seen in my life. Uh, we bought the ticket. Uh, this is the ticket right here. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, that's the building right there. Uh, it costs us 15 euros per person, but you got this in the uh, uh, conciergerie, which was right next door. We'll get into that in a second. 
I would say it was very much so worth it. It maybe took us about an hour to see both. You could spend as long as you wanted in there, but there was so much history in there uh, that was just so much fun to look at. And I am still thinking about how beautiful that room was. So once we left there, we went right next door to the uh, conciergerie, which is actually uh, used to be the prison where they kept uh, Marie Antoinette and a bunch of other famous uh, people in France. So it was a pretty cool building. Uh, I thought it was interesting because in the back they had some artifacts that they said uh, belonged to Marie Antoinette. But on one of the dresses it said, this could have been a dress worn by Marie Antoinette. We're not really too sure. And I thought that was great. Like, eh, we ain't too sure if this was, but here it is just in case. So there's a lot of disclaimers in there, but it was still a cool building just to see where history was housed because you know we've all heard the story of Marie Antoinette and all that so it was pretty cool you actually got to see where she would have slept where she would have uh, you know hung out while she was in prison because there wasn't much else for her to do uh, once we did that we started walking down the Seine Paris is a very walkable city which is what I really like they have metro options if you would like to take them but given that was our first time in Paris and the weather was absolutely gorgeous that day we just kind of needed a light jacket uh, and in the afternoon it was beautiful. Uh, we walked down the Seine, just kind of looked at some of the sights that we could see from there. Uh, passed through uh, the Louvre. We didn't go in the Louvre, but we looked at the outside, the pyramid, the courtyard, uh, all that. We took our touristy pictures uh, because when in, when in Paris, I suppose. Uh, and then we went through the uh, Tuileries Gardens, I think if I'm not butchering that. And those gardens were beautiful. They were massive. It was like a, to me, I think what it reminded me of was like a central park for uh, fancy people uh, because there were places for you to eat. There were fountains. Uh, actually, we were walking through and we actually saw Kristen Bell walk right past us. So that was random. She was there filming The Good Place. So we didn't stop her because we wanted her to enjoy her time there, but it was cool to see her. Uh, but my wife Annie loved it because she got to take lots of pictures and it's a such like a, a fun thing to do because it was free, you get to walk around and you just felt so Parisian because they had little spots for you to get uh, pastries and little spots where you just sit and people watch and there was a lot of people watching to do there. Very clean too, so definitely add that to your list of things to do. Uh, we continued down uh, the street there, down the Seine and we saw the Grand Palace uh, which was just a beautiful building from the outside. We didn't get to go in because we were starting to get hungry. So we went down the Champs Elysees, uh, which is that main drag there in Paris. Uh, it's very touristy, but lots of fun. Uh, we went into the Disney store, obviously. We're Disney people, so we have to go to the Disney store wherever we go. So that was fun. They had all sorts of fancy stores, like the Louis Vuitton store, which I felt like I couldn't even afford just to look at. Uh, they had a line actually out the door for people trying to get in there. Uh, and then we saw the like Dior and all sorts of other uh, just places you would associate with with uh, Paris. We actually got really hungry walking. So we went to this place it was called Les Alassay. I, I do not speak French. But it was good. It was definitely touristy, but it was very authentic French food. It had been there since the 60s. so. You know, if somebody somewhere's been there that long, you know, 50 years, it's probably pretty good. Uh, we all got different things. I got a uh, the French onion soup, which I'd imagine because we were in France, it was just the onion soup, and uh, you know, we could all got different things. Uh, I got the chicken supreme, and it was mashed potatoes and chicken with this sauce on top, and I don't know what that sauce was. But it was delicious. And I don't remember what the other ones got, but that, my chicken was, I think everybody agreed, that was one of the better things we got. I do remember for dessert, uh, Betsy and I got a, some sort of a meringue. It was like called like the floating cloud or something. And it was like, it wasn't, it was a little more runny than pudding texture around it with this little thing of uh, kind of a meringue in the middle with a pecan on top. What that pecan did, I have no idea, but it was delicious. And then Annie got a creme brulee you can't go wrong with creme brulee. She hit it, it cracked on the top, so you know it. That's a good creme brulee. 
Maybe three blocks down on the Champs Elysees is the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, and that was one of the landmarks we all wanted to go to. Uh, because it was only 12 euros, you go to the top and you can see all of Paris from up there. You can take your pictures and you get the Eiffel Tower in the background. Only thing about this is make sure you're good with steps. That was quite a few steps to the top. I was fine with it. My wife and Betsy were struggling, but you know, it was still a good time. They have lots of different landings that you can stop at to rest. <coughs> so take advantage of that if you like. Uh, I bought uh, our tickets uh, in advance online. Uh, it was only 12 euros to do it. So skip the line because the line to get in was quite a bit. And actually to get to the Arc de Triomphe, it may look intimidating because you have to go across that little roundabout of cars there. You actually take a tunnel underneath that roundabout and it takes you up to the Arc de Triomphe. And it was kind of a war memorial. It, uh, they had all sorts of over like a hundred battles, I think, of different battles uh, before Napoleon commissioned it. And uh, definitely check that out because that's one of those Parisian landmarks that I think everybody should see and it's familiar with everyone. So check that out. Uh, from there, we just wanted to see more of the city. So we wanted to go see the Eiffel Tower up close. So as we were walking, we just enjoyed looking around the city and we got to the Eiffel Tower and after walking up the Arc de Triomphe and uh, down to the Eiffel Tower, we said, we're kind of hungry. So, Betsy and Annie picked us out a spot to picnic. I went over two blocks from the Eiffel Tower into a little grocery store. I got us some uh, prosciutto, some salami, some cheese, some wine, and we had ourselves a little picnic. And it was a beautiful day. We had a little photo shoot there uh, after we had a little, probably too much wine because we couldn't take the wine with us anywhere because we were about to get on a plane. So we finished that bottle and no regrets over here. Uh, and then we took a little photo shoot there, uh, just having a good time. We had nowhere to be. Uh, and we just kind of enjoyed some time being friends. And that's something I'll remember. That's one of the things I probably enjoyed most about this trip are uh, just the time we got to spend with Annie and Betsy for that matter. Uh, you know, Betsy being my wife, Betsy being one of my best, er, Annie being my wife, Betsy wishes, uh, Annie being my wife and Betsy being my best friend, uh, it was kind of ah, just nice to spend that time with them. No worries, just a nice time on vacation. So definitely take that time on your trip just to spend time with the people you love, get away from the stress of it all, and just enjoy yourselves. Um, so we could have taken the metro back to the train station to get back to the hotel because it was starting to get kind of late in the day, but we decided we want to see more of the city and let's walk back along the Seine. And I'm glad we did because I got another crepe and this crepe was delicious. So if you're in France, make sure you get a crepe because crepes are delicious and they will change your life if you have never had one. And we just kind of admired the pretty buildings and the art along the river. Uh, so it was good. And then we grabbed our ticket again and we went back to the train station. Make sure you always have this because they do have random people in normal clothes, just with these little patches that do come out and check for your ticket back. Uh, and then we went back and we went to bed because we had an early morning the next morning uh, to go to Munich, which we will talk about in a later blog. So that was my trip to Paris that day. Uh, if we didn't do something that you thought should be done in Paris, be sure and mention it down in the comments. Uh, and then if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Promise not all my videos are this boring. I'm just, I feel like this is information that needs to be shared and I wish I would have vlogged better in Paris so that I could have shared this information out. So go ahead and hit that button though if you did enjoy this video. And if you didn't, just remember, I got tons of other videos. Please go check those out. Uh, and thank you for stopping by today and uh, we will see you in the next vlog.